Welcome to the video. The gang is all here. We've got some dumpster dive finds over the last, I don't know how long it's been since I've been on here. Uh, I tried to come on every night, I kid you not, but then by the time I got ready to, it was 8.30, which means it would have been too late for me, and I would, I'm all relaxed sounding, so here we are. Friday night, I was also super tired, so here we are on a Saturday night, and um, all these little vintage Christmas things came together, and uh, these are personalized from 1987. They were, all these were donated to the thrift and then they were thrown in the trash. This is cute. I don't know what goes in the little heart thing there. It's like a birdhouse. I feel like it's missing the bird. How is everybody doing? That's a cute one. Y'all doing okay? These are cute. I guess they're from the same time period. So hopefully we're bringing back some memories for people. 1980s. I don't know if these are older. I thought these would be older. So I don't know. Like 70s. These seem like 60s, 70s. Somebody made that, you know, cute poinsettia. <clears throat> Those are cute. Just donated in this little Christmas lights box. Anyway, how are y'all doing? How's everybody feeling? I want to say it's been a while. A get well wish for all. May you feel happier and healthier with each passing moment. Please feel better soon. That's from the gang tonight. For anybody that's had the surgeries has been writing to us. Oh, it's back there behind Aunt Bunny now. Um, we're thinking about you. Physical or emotional issues. Hope everything gets better. Well, I put that up so soon, and I'm able to look at it. It's some beautiful hyacinth. Well, no, I forgot what these little things are. I think these are hyacinth. And I forget what the little purple ones are. They're not blue bonnets. And I've seen them growing in people's garden. Then you have your tulips. And Don't those smell, when you smell those, oh my. They are so strong. It's very unusual for, for a flower, I think, to smell that strong. Isn't that cute? Santa with the Jack Russell Terrier, right? Isn't that a Jack Russell? This is... Um, Madison? I don't know. I'm having a hard time seeing that. 1997. Uh, is that still vintage on Etsy? I can't remember. Now, where is my loop? Hmm. I guess I'm not prepared. It's always right here. So, I'm going to set it aside. Maybe my loop will show up. He's so goofy. Look at him. Isn't he cute? I'm going to keep him on my shelf. He's just so unusual. He's probably somebody. I don't know who he is. Is it a praying mantis? He's got six legs. Cute. This will probably go to the park. Minka played with it for a while and then she got bored with it. Avon, Sweet Honesty, it's a kangaroo, I'll have to find my Avon bottles 
Y'all remember those and put that with it. And we have this. And I guess it's an ornament, like a Santa Fe type ornament. It's ceramic, probably hand blown and handmade. I guess you don't blow these. I don't know. My loot must have fallen down. Here it is. I had set it over there. Let's see what the Santa says so I can read it. Mariolum, Boston. A Marjor Marjolene Baston, 1997 Hallmark. Okay, I was trying to read the cursive writing. That was a mistake. So I'll look him up. I'm having my tea, sleepy time tea. Uh, this is a pretty nice big ashtray, heavy ashtray. And it has a little chip there, so I'm probably gonna get rid of, you know, like give it to the free pile. But I wanna say these are, um, I believe, uh, it's another one of those I never can remember. Jasper. That looks like Jasper. Jasper stones. And some green stones, which Croker likes the green stones. Aventurine, they are, you know, like, well, they're somewhat polished, but they're not. These are some quartzes, and they need to be washed. So, I liked that. Like finding those. A nice handful of the red jasper. And this is from the dumpster. I've already looked. No precious metal or anything. <clears throat> um, the bike guy is relentless. He has to be. That's how Christmas is. People start getting desperate and crazy. And all kinds of people come out of the woodwork. But he's basically watching for the managers to leave. And then he's right there. So this is uh, missing some. This one's not bad. But I got these out before he was in the front of the parking lot. I went around the back and there was a new vehicle and two others and I just peeked in and this was like, had fallen out of a shoe box and it was on top. So I stood on my crate, leaned over, grabbed it all. I mean, these are not bad. Some of them are brass. They are definitely, a lot of these are vintage. That's not brass. You know, when the sun is setting and you can't, you're like trying to look um, and you can't really see, but you see jewelry, I was like, I'm gonna, so it's not copper. This is just really bad. They have some nice designs though, but you know, And um, I did, I picked this one I like. Look at it, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's a nice one for the, for the trash. And we've got that, it's nice. So obviously none of them are even silver tone, right? Uh, I don't know if that means anything or not. They're going to go in just my, my jewelry, dumpster jewelry finds, even if they're broken. 
this is weird. This is like obviously all the gold tone is off of this one. This needs to come out of there. Oh, okay. Well, this is how it goes. That lasted except for it's missing rhinestones. All the gold, gold tone came off. And then this one. A lot of those fell off. <clears throat> uh, here's another thing. It's missing. It's a nutcracker. Made in China. Oh, no, it's a bank. I'm sorry. Okay, you pick up the tail, and it throws the penny in there. Made in Taiwan, so that's vintage. It needs a screw. I guess they unscrewed it, probably, those ladies, to see if there was any money in there. And I'm trying to find a screw, but I cannot find one to put through there that would hold it. It needs to be cleaned a little. It's really cool. Very heavy. All dumpster finds odds and ends over the past few, like a week and a half, maybe. That'll go in my collection, even though it doesn't look too amazing. Never, um, never found a an angel cookie cutter. Look at this one. This is needlepoint. Um, so 70s, right? The African violet. And then the tea with the lemon. But my mom had a bunch of African violets. This is really, really pretty. I'm sure I'll put that on Etsy. It's nice. I've been selling stuff. Y'all remember that gold Mont Blanc pen? Well, I sold it for $385 and it came with a little, like a little case with a little writing pad. And that, that little fold over thing actually had some sticky stuff from a sticker I could not get off. You don't see her very often. And so, sold that. I sold the James Avery leather bracelet that came in a jewelry jar. Sold that for $75. Um, it went to Houston. The um, Mont Blanc pen went to Dallas. Check this out. Yeah, these are dumpster finds. I uh, don't know who made this. Let me see what this says. What does this say? Just has some some names. Okay, here's another name. Made in China. Well, I still like it. It's cool. It's metal and plastic. So that's gonna go went you know in my whatever you want to call it collection. Made out of a uh old clothespin here's another one a little acorn cap and little basket from an acorn these are obviously from another country people are trying to make something for tourists This has its little pin on the back, and I cannot make out what it said. Oh, Japan. Okay, sometimes you can't see it, and then you start putting it on camera. Um, Japan. Little odds and ends. Oreo cookie. So, I've been selling really well. I mean, not fast and furious like some people. This says bottoms up. It's showing the bottom of a monkey. 
and they're just playing. I don't know. It's a shot glass. I think that will sell like $12 shipped or something. This is a cool pen. It's plastic, very colorful. I like that. Then I got two lanyards from a NASCAR event. Raceway, I don't know. I didn't look really what year. It's underneath that, June something. Let's see if the other one has it. 20, 2008. I don't know anything about it. <clears throat> Viagra is the sponsor. Funny. So I don't know if that would have any collectible value or not, but I guess I could find out. That would have to be on eBay. This looks like it's just um, like little coasters. And then they have, they're all the same design, but some of them have tarnished. I'm not going to clean that. Reminds me of like an Assyrian image. I don't even know what Assyrian is, but that's just what I'm saying. Any comments on that would be great. I think those would go on Etsy. Got this. And I need to clean all that off. It's not marked. Oh, I just now noticed it. Dang. Chip. So, I like it. I might keep it on my shelf. That's a bummer. That's cool because it has this little lip thing. So I'll set that somewhere. I thought this was like a Morocco, but it's it's not. It's solid. I don't know if anybody. Wait a minute. What is it? Is it? You you must do something with it because it doesn't rattle. Does anybody know what that would be used for? Cape Cod, Massachusetts, a big plate, metal plate, that'll go on Etsy. The Wild Rose, pretty cool. Just one of those vintage trays, you know. This is just a little made in Taiwan bottle and the corks down in there. You know, kind of a little knickknack or whatever the other name for knickknacks is. John knows it. Uh, what does he call the knickknacks? I'll think of it. Then this is a really cool suede belt. I mean, you talk about 1970s. It came with some other vintage clothing. And here's another one. This is Sears. It's a frog. And it's another. That, that's going to go on Etsy. I haven't had time to list, y'all. Work is just, it's busy, busy, you know. So there's that. And then the next thing I'm going to show y'all, I think I have to pick up the iPad. And we got, um... The cover is not very good. Betty Crocker Recipe Card Library. I have a better one that's yellow, but um, look at the how clean the actual things are. 1971. Man. I don't even want to like go through them. It's so pristine inside of here because it had been taped shut. It had been taped shut and I just undid the tape so I could see it, but the tape is all sticky and then it had been something heavy got set on at some point, but it's got that avocado green at the bottom. So that's pretty cool. I think that's it on the, oh, no, no. 
Not it. Let's just look at it while we've got it going. Um, yeah, sales have been pretty good. Next year I want to be more prepared, even if it's stuff I have to put on over the summer and it's not really during the time of the fourth quarter, whatever they call that. Um, I would like to just have more things listed. But I really did need um, a good sale there. Really did. So that was good. And then here's an old frame. It's pretty neat. It's missing the back part to help it stand, but it will hang. But it's so ornate and nice that I'm just going to probably try to sell it. A little 2020 calendar from the Shriners. It's cute. Kids, cute kids. Healing remedies. I don't know what year this is from. Two thousand and eight. So for rashes and itchy skin, kidney problems, healing remedies, prep guide, bee pollen. Oh, the skin becomes younger looking. It's like, it's in incredible condition. It's like brand new condition. Well, that's it on that one. We hope that everyone gets well. We do have some jewelry. I may come back and film tonight. I'm not sure. I kind of want to get into a jewelry bag. But I'll tell y'all about it later. We were the only... Might have been the only bid. Uh, anyway, I don't know. I'll let y'all know later. Aunt, Aunt Barry's been buying some jewelry. Hope everybody's doing well. And I will see y'all soon.